Right rudder, left rudder, released. Okay, brakes are on, that's max brakes right now. My name is David Stewart, and I am the external pilot for the Area Eyes Terra aircraft. Testing this kind of an airplane and doing research with it is, is primarily what I've always done. The unique thing about, about being a pilot of an airplane like Terra is that it's multi-engine. It has the capability, although we're not flying it with retractable gear, of, of being a retractable gear airplane. It is a heavy, complex, high-speed airplane, and it flies like that. Once they get above that 70, 80,000 RPM, they're about 50% and they'll go together um, pretty closely. But down here, they're probably quite, yeah. Watch your heads, watch the engines. We're here to, uh, to train NASA on, on the Terra airplane and get them up to speed on it. We've been flying it now for three or four years. Can you show me where the tank is? Yeah, so we've been here for the past be, uh, uh, week and a half training NASA personnel. Uh, to use the Terra system. We delivered a set of checklists uh, that they can reference uh, to make sure that everything's operational. Safety wire, these things could possibly come off. Just we reviewed the system and the best way to do it is hands-on. So I've had people looking over my shoulder and explained what the system is doing at all times and what I'm looking at and what I expect and don't expect to see at any given time. Uh, my role here at the flight test, I'm a ground station operator. Uh, that means I operate, um, I control the aircraft from the ground. Uh, I give it waypoints, airspeed, and altitude commands. Um, it also means that I'm checking the health of the system at all times, making sure that systems are operational, that we have good link, uh, that the computer is doing what's expected, and that all the sensors are working properly. Come around the far corner, just do your no normal figure eight pattern, and we'll intercept um, our course here, because we're, since we're going to be doing a right-hand racetrack, and then I communicate as well with the pilot this uh, throughout the course of the flight. Uh, making sure that everybody has uh, situational awareness uh, and if anything is uh, out of spec I'll have the external pilot or safety pilot take it back uh, and bring it back safely. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Nick Alley. Um, I'll be the flight test director for this first flight. So the maneuvers that we're going to be carrying out today, we're going to take off. Um, we're going to be manually performing a figure eight procedure out over the lake bread. Uh, breaks off, Dave. All right, so the primary project that Terra is slated for right now is a, is a partnership with, between NASA, Boeing, and AREI, and that's in working on a shape-adaptive wing. We're designing a wing that will go on the aircraft that's sitting behind us right now that can, can significantly change its shape and flight uh, using uh, NASA and Boeing technology. Oh, hold, we're going to do piccolo directions. Well, hopefully that program will that. transition through a successful test flight on Terra right. where uh, initially, they'll be looking at controlling that, that shape adaptation and how well the controller does it, how it affects the aerodynamics of the airframe, and how well uh, the onboard flight controller is able to, to uh, you know, maintain flight control throughout the transition between the different wing states. Antennas are in place. Go for takeoff. Go. Affirmative. All right, 15, 17, 20, 24, 28. 30, 35, 37, 40, 43, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 68, 70. The way Terra was designed, the way the airframe was designed was to, uh, with relative ease, allow um, it to be reconfigured. Um, to be able to add, put on a new tail, to be able to put on new wings, to be able to uh, extend the fuselage or, or even shrink the fuselage if necessary. Piccolo has it. Piccolo the is airframe that you're seeing fly right now is the Terra baseline. Looks good. So and we call it the baseline good. because it is the configuration to which all future Terra configurations could be compared. So you can find, you know, uh, performance deltas and compare them back to, to the Terra airframe. In addition to that, the avionics, uh, the software that's been written, is highly flexible. It's a, it's a lot like the airplane. It's kind of the erector set of avionics. Um, it could be used to, uh, to add additional flight computers. Um, with all of the redundancies and the safeties of a flight-proven system, you can add the new system on board, and the Terra avionics can turn control over to that new system 
um, you know, on a temporary basis until the new system proves to be flight worthy. All right, prepping for a high speed Three. pass. Altitude. Full throttle. Altitude. 115, 120, Altitude. 125, 130, Altitude. 134, Altitude. 134. Ground speed's 145, 146. I'm really excited about the, the ways I think that NASA could use Terra. Just being around this week, I've already seen people's eyes light up when they, when they understand what we're uh, going for here with the, the system design and seeing um, experiments that evaluate new wing treatments or new wing mechanical designs um, and allow people to actually fly experiments that otherwise might not have made it off the ground, literally. 60, 58, 55, 54, 53. We've uh, dreamed up of a lot of configuration, but whether or not it's appropriate or not to do those experiments on Terra, it's really up to the engineer, it's up to the researcher to decide. And uh, the system as it exists is there to support that.